Welcome into Market Movers, I'm Rob Black. Let's take a look at the business and money stories that you need to know. Today's top stories include consumer discretionaries, what are they? Intel versus ARM, who's gonna win? And News Corp, why would you break up that company? First, consumer discretionary stocks, you can look at the Standard Poor's and look at how our economy is made up and consumer discretionary spending is a big part of our economy for sure. So it's important to know these companies and to note they all have different ways of playing. You know, McDonald's, Disney, Comcast, Amazon, Home Depot, Starbucks, Ford, Target, Nike, Priceline, Lowe's, TJ Maxx, De uh, DirecTV, Echo Star, Yum. Yum Brands is a big international restaurant company, plays in China. DirecTV, more of a play in the United States, trying to get business from other media companies. Will they be able to stay in business? Lowe's tied towards the housing market. Nike, pretty dominant company, not a lot of competition. Target uh, took away a lot of business from Walmart for many, many, many years. And then the family dollar stores came in. So there's always a trend there. There's always something to study with consumer discretionaries. McDonald's versus Burger King. Starbucks versus McDonald's. Um, so get to know the players and try to figure out what drives them. Next up, let's talk a little Intel versus ARM. There's something called a system on a chip. And it's really ideal for uh, tablets. It low, uses very low power. Intel is just now getting into the tablet ARM market, uh, whereas ARM Holdings is already established as a player. Traction is going to be very minimal, though, because ARM is trying to jump into the server market, whereas Intel, their Medfield processor, has already shown similar performance and uh, efficiency in running ARM-based processors. So I would say if there's going to be a win here, it looks like Intel's transition uh, into this sector has been very, very good for them and very, very smart. I reiterate a buy on Intel. I think it's a good long-term accumulate name with a nice dividend as the primary driver of the stock. And finally, News Corp recently announced that they're considering breaking up. Why would they do that? Because there's high growth rates compared to the industry norm for their cable network television studio business. And that'd be a big bonanza for shareholders if they did break up the company because News Corp has got a problem right now with their publishing business and a hacking scandal where they're getting sued and we don't know the future. Uh, that lack of knowing the future has taken a premium out of the company and it's given it a discount. Now, again, as a shareholder, you would want that discount to be revealed or opened up to be the premium that you think the company is worth. So those are the top stories that you need to know. Don't forget, tell friends, come back often. I'm Rob Black from Market Movers, and I'll talk to you soon.